Hi everybody, I have a pen I want to share with you today and that is a Pilot 2 Plus 1 E-Volt. Now obviously that means it's a multi-pen and I absolutely adore multi-pens. I have a whole bunch already, but I bought this one for a very particular reason. I do like my pens to be kind of assigned for a specific purpose. So with the 2 Plus 1, the 2 obviously means that you're going to get the standard basic two colors which are red and black. They're 0.7 millimeters and they are ballpoint. And the plus one means it comes with a pencil mechanism. And the pencil here is 0.5 millimeters. Those are your standard math and accounting colors and writing implements that you need. And then with this gorgeous metallic green color, this just screams money to me. So this is going to be my finance and money binder planner pen. So that's where it's going to live and I'm really excited about it. This, the green just really stands out to me and I just, I loved it. As soon as I saw it, I knew it. that's exactly what I wanted it for. It does come in a bunch of other colors. If you go online and look at them besides the green, obviously, you know, blue, black, gray, which is a really nice color, orange, violet, light blue, red, and then brown. So I would invite you to go look at those. Unfortunately, I have to film at night and I've got all my lighting and it's still just not doing this pen justice. But there's some gorgeous pictures, but I'm telling you, it's not the same. It's even more stunning when you have it in real life holding in your hands. So really, really excited to be using this pen for that. Okay, let me go ahead and tell you about this pen. It is across the board $16.50 on jet pens. And then on Amazon, if you shop there, which is where I got mine, I don't know why Amazon and other places do this, but it's by color or different prices. So the green was about $10, but they range from nine to about $13. So still on Amazon is going to be your best bet as far as the price is concerned. And then let me go ahead and show you about the pen. The, well, Briefly, let me show you that it does take refills, obviously, since it's a multi-pen. And if you go on jet pens, the refills are kind of mind-blowing. It doesn't, obviously, it takes Pilot, but it takes a lot more than that, according to them. So Zebra, Uni, Platinum, um, Rotring, Monteverde, Statler, I mean, Pentel, the list goes on and on. I think that's a great feature. So I don't want to say they're universal refills, but they do take a lot of other brands. And so they're not necessarily proprietary, even though you can buy the Pilot brand. So I think that's fantastic. You can change up your colors in this pen. I will show you though why I am not doing that. And I'll get there in just a minute. So also I, with the ballpoint, you know, I, th I, I think we can all pretty much agree that ballpoint is probably not our most favorite ink to be using all the time. But another reason why I bought this pen with the ballpoint is with, you know, when you're doing money and accounting, sometimes you need to highlight. And with that, you need a ballpoint type of ink or a, a, a permanent or archival type of ink. So that's another reason why I bought this is I, I didn't want to ever have to worry about my pen smearing. So that's great. You can also, if you're like me, if you do, do like a finer tip, you could probably find like a 0.5 or 0.3 or something tips if you wanted to replace them with that. So I think there's just a lot of great variety. I think with the price, I think that's a reasonable price. I really do. Um, you know, 1650, I would say is a little bit on the upper end. I didn't want to pay that, but you know, the $10 definitely, especially because this pen is made out of metal. I don't think that any pen is made out of 100% metal, but it is heavy. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It's definitely not the heaviest multi-pen that I've ever used, but I do like weight to my pens and I do prefer metal over plastic if I can have that option. So I, all of those reasons are why I'm just really, really excited about using this pen on a regular basis. So let me show you what I'm talking about, the weight and I know you're not going to be able to, to tell this, but I'm going to do my best to explain it. This section right here is lighter, and then this section is heavier. So that means that this is a bottom heavy pen. I do prefer my pens to be evenly distributed. So that is a, 
I don't want to say it's a con, but definitely something to consider. And this is probably one of the most bottom heavy pens I've ever felt. So I'm going to try and demonstrate what I mean. So as you can see, if I push down on this pen, do you see how easily, well, if I could get a grip on it there, do you see how easily it goes down? So it is very weighted in towards the back. Now, as you're writing, it's not, I don't feel like it's a problem. It's just kind of awkward when you're trying to get it into your hand, as I guess what I'm trying to say about that. But otherwise, yeah, it's, it's, I wish that it was not so disproportionately weighted, but you know, it is what it is. This is divided up into four different sections. So this first section obviously is the, the tip down here. There's a lot of unscrewing, I will say with this pen. So there are the three different writing implements and I will get to those in just a second. And then the, this middle part right here obviously is the grip. There's no special material or texture or anything like that. All of this is made out of the same, just the smooth metallic material. This section right here is where all of the heft is. And I, I can't really wrap my brain around why this pen is so heavy down here, but yep, that's what it is. And then this last section is of course the teeny tiny eraser. I've talked about these before. I don't understand why they make these micro erasers because you make one mistake, which we all do, and the eraser is gone in one use. So I will not be using this. I also am a little paranoid about losing this. I think it's you know gorgeous with this tip on here, and I I'm always just worried I'm going to lose my my um, the cover right here. So I I don't take mine off. I will end up using like with all my other ones, just kind of like a Pentel click eraser or something if I actually need to erase. So that is the body of it. I This color is just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous and it feels really good. I am not a professional, so I don't have the, you know, the fancy measuring tools, but I would say this is the middle of the road as far as the diameter is concerned. I think that both male and female would find this comfortable in their hands and I think the length is completely fine too. It's not too short, not too long. You know, it, I'm always talking about how I like Goldilocks types of things, and I think this is really a, a great representation of that. I think it's just across the board, just a, a nice standard pen for everybody. And I think even with the weight, a lot of people don't like weighted pens. So even though it's, it is, you know, the bottom heavy problem, I think it, it feels good in your hand. And I don't think if you have wrist issues or anything like that, I don't personally think that it's going to cause you any problems. I do have some wrist issues and I do still prefer a little bit of weight to my pens, but that's always a, a personal issue. The pen clip right here, I have to say, is fantastic. And you're probably like, um, that's just a pen clip. Exactly. But the uh, same thing, I think the length of the pen clip is just great. It's not too long and it's not too short. If you're going to put it on, you know, actually use the pen clip like I do, it is perfect. It's you know, if you have it in a planner, you know, it has to go around either the leather or the elastic pen clip or the, the you know what I'm talking about, your pen holder. It's perfect for that. I think it's, it's because a lot of times you have to have this knob part to go around it to kind of catch it on there. You know what I'm talking about? I really use my pen clips on every pen. I love to clip my pens onto the coils of notebooks and planners and all that kind of stuff. I'm, I, I would prefer to do that than actually have a pen loop. Also, as you can see the spacing in between here, sometimes the pen clip like this is so close to the pen barrel that you can hardly get even a few pieces of paper in there. I have been known to clip my pen onto a lot of different papers. I'm just, like I said, I, I really use my pen clips and I like the spacing in between here. Again, it's just not too, close to the barrel and it's also not too wide because sometimes I'm like that, you know, it just doesn't, it's not aesthetically pleasing, but it also functionally doesn't work as well too when it's too wide. So it's just a nice, really standard design pen. That's all I can say about that. So as far as the inks are concerned, let me start and I'm going to go from left to right. So left is going to, on the left hand side is the black. You turn it to the right and then you get your red. Turn it to the right once again and you get to your pencil. I have had multi pens before that can do like 360 and you can constantly go around and keep clicking around till you get to the right color that you want. 
This one is not like that. You are stuck on the right hand side at the mechanical pencil. You cannot go any farther. You have to go back left to go to your right and then left again to go to your black and then again you're stuck at the black. So that's how it is and I think just with the only the three colors I think that's you know something that's easily adjustable. But like I said I've, I've had both types of pens. Another thing that I love about this particular pen is you see how I'm clicking back and forth. My pencil lead has never broken. I have had other multi pens before where without fail every single time the pen pencil lead breaks and that's super annoying because you it's either broken or you constantly have to remember to retract your lead and that's that's not cool but this one has never had that problem I've done this a lot of times and it's never broken so that's great so as far as the pencil is concerned of course you're gonna push on the very back and that's how your lead is going to expand and oops I just I broke that myself that was not the pen okay let me get that out of the way so there is the lead extended and then of course to retract it you're just going to push down this is a little bit awkward I would say to retract the lead but you know once it's out I never retract mine unless it's I have that problem that I just told you about so really great setup so this is I'm going to try and show you if my camera will focus here so there's the evil label and as you can see right there where it says 05 that's the pencil so it's labeled and then it's got in the middle R for red it's not wanting to there we go R for red and then of course B for black so it's labeled and I really love that this is what I was talking about if you want to change out your colors that's great it's not that big of a deal obviously but I just like that in touch I think it's great and so that's you know, even though I already, I all already have a purpose for mine and I like the colors here, it is an option and I think you can easily overlook that if you do want to change out your colors here. So, like I said, just a nice standard overall pen. Let me do a quick writing sample. Let me start with the black since I think left to right. So this is 0 0.07. Click to the right and get the red. And then the pencil. I can never really see when I'm doing these writing samples. So there you go. That's what it looks like. Probably won't focus very well, but you know, the, because it's ballpoint and it's your standard colors, I mean, nothing special about the actual inks, but because this is a pilot, I will mention this if, if you're not aware, obviously pilot and the Asian pen companies do run a little bit finer. So even though, though this is a 0.7, for me, it actually feels more like a 0.5, which I really like. And that's just the nature of the Asian pen companies. You know, North American companies, a 0.7 is way too fat and wide for me. So just something to consider in case you are not aware of that. But anyway, I hope that this has been helpful. If you have any questions about this, let me know. But I wanted to show this just in case you were in the market for a multi-pen or if you wanted the specific pen, if it was good. I, I do highly recommend this. Like I said, I bought this for a very specific person purpose and I am very excited to be using it. So thanks for watching you guys. I will talk to you again soon.